In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix Discord limited access. Getting locked out of your Discord account, even partially, can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you just want to connect with your friends or join new communities. This limited access status means something unusual was detected with your account, and while it's inconvenient, there are clear steps you can take to resolve it. So, let's dive right in and get your Discord back to full functionality. First things first, you need to confirm you're actually in limited access mode. When you log in, look for a red bar at the very top of your client. It will typically say something like, Hey, something looks off with your account, so we limited your access. In this mode, you can still message existing friends, but you'll find yourself unable to send new friend requests, DM newly added friends, or join new servers. Knowing these restrictions helps you understand the situation. Once you've identified the limited access status, the next step is to look for a quick fix. If you're confident this action was a mistake, Discord often provides a direct way to regain access. You might see a regain access here button directly within that red banner on your screen. Alternatively, if you try to join a new server and an error pops up, that notification might also contain a regain access here link. Click on this as it's your quickest path to resolution if the system believes it was a mistake. Now, if that regain access button doesn't work for you, don't worry, your next course of action is to submit an appeal directly to Discord support. You'll want to head over to Discord's official help center and look for the submit a request or appeal option. When you're filling out the ticket, be very clear that you believe this is a mistake. Include all relevant details like your account email, username, recent activity, and the devices you've used. If you think you might have done something unusual that triggered it, like sending many friend requests quickly or logging in from new devices, Mention that too. The more information you provide, the better. After you've submitted your support ticket, the next crucial step is simply to wait. Discord system indicates that limited access can remain for some time, so you might need to patiently wait a few days for their team to review your request. Once your appeal is reviewed and approved, your limited access will be removed and you'll get full control back. Finally, and this is especially important if suspicious activity was detected, make sure to clean up your account's device list. Navigate to your user settings, then click on the devices section. Here, you can review all active login sessions. If you see any unfamiliar or unauthorized devices logged into your account, make sure to remove them by ending those sessions. This helps secure your account and can prevent future issues. By following these steps, you significantly increase your chances of resolving Discord limited access and getting back to your normal Discord experience. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tips, and let me know in the comments if you successfully regained access.